Hello everyone. I'm pleased to introduce the 2021 Virtual Victoria Nature Festival. I'm coming to you from the lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and I wish to acknowledge them as traditional owners of this land. I'd also like to pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and Aboriginal elders of other communities who may be listening today. Now more than ever, we are all appreciating our green open spaces. We may be missing our favourite national park, beach or holiday spot, but I'm sure all Victorians have come to appreciate their local park over the last year. We know that people who are more connected with nature are also more likely to be active in looking after the environment. And the Victorian Nature Festival is all about encouraging people to connect with and act for nature. It also reflects our government's commitment to biodiversity and supporting Victorians' connection to nature. We've invested more than $400 million in biodiversity since 2017, the largest ever investment by a Victorian government in the state's history. The Victoria Nature Festival will showcase an array of nature-themed activities Victoria-wide from our many partners, including traditional owners, Parks Victoria, Zoos Victoria, the Royal Botanic Gardens, the Phillip Island Nature Parks, and many more. This year's festival is a chance for all Victorians to take a virtual look into nature, learn about our amazing environment and the crucial role we all play in protecting it. I encourage all Victorians to get involved, whether that be by joining an online event, learning from traditional owners about caring for country, or participating in citizen science from home via the Victoria Together online platform. There's also lots on to keep the kids entertained during the school holidays, including the famous Phillip Island Penguin Parade live stream. I congratulate the festival delivery partners on curating this fun and educational online program. So enjoy the festival.